Hello ACG family, this is ID Specialist. Just uh, coming in with an update. Today I was point two pounds down, which now puts me point two pounds over my last LSW. So I'm not complaining and I'm I'm determined that I have one more week on P3, uh, officially one more week on P3, and I've decided that for that week I am not going to cheat, and I'm going to do everything I possibly can to make sure that I f follow the protocol to the letter. I feel like that I've I've done some things right, and I made some errors in judgment, but I. I'm going to move forward. I know that I've never seen anything like the ACG and this is day day 13 or 14, 14 for me on P3 and with my first round of ACG and I know that I have not been a pillar of strength when it comes to following everything to the letter and I know that there are people out there who do do that and I truly applaud them. However, as I move through this process, I'm learning more and more about me. And I've been able to see so many other people who are figuring out what works for them, figuring out what types of food have adverse effects on their bodies. And I'm doing the same thing. I know Yoli that you tried the macaroni, it didn't work for you. I'm finding that I'm carb sensitive too. Maybe not the same carbs that you are, but there are some things like certain breads I can't eat. And when I do, I see an immediate weight gain. So I am, I'm still very thrilled. I'm still excited because I have not had anything in, my, in, in the period that I gained all the weight. Everything I tried seemed so temporary, but nothing, I've had no experience like this where there is a group of people who are sharing everything that, that they're going through and their successes and, and it allows you to, to feel like you can do it too. If, if one person can do it, you can do it too. And when I saw Momsy's video, when she was talking about actually doing this so she could save her life, I resonated with that so, because my mom, because of health challenges that originated in diabetes, the quality of life for her has diminished so, and she's had so many surgeries in and out of the hospital, She's lost several of her toes, and I know that it's all what we eat, that we dig our graves with our mouths. And when I think about that, not only am I thinking about the fact that I've lost weight, I'm thinking about what it's going to look like for me in five years, ten years. I'm thinking about having the quality of life into my 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond but I know that it starts right now and I am going to take Sunday as a day of gratitude. On Sunday I'm going to write down everything that I'm grateful uh, for about this about this ACG journey, this ACG protocol and that I'm going to celebrate that day. I'm going to celebrate the fact that no matter what happened along the way that I did take the first step, that I did do what I could and how I could and the way I could to lose the weight. But more than anything else, I took the first step. I made a decision. I had a choice and I did something. So I'm going to hold that close to me on those moments when I'm tempted and those moments when I, I have an error in judgment, when I make a mistake. I'm going to remember that I made that first step, that I made that first choice, which means I can always choose again, which means I can always choose again. 
so it's not perfect uh, my body will probably not look like it did when I was 20 years old but I do expect to be healthier I do expect to look better for someone who is my age I'm not expecting to look like a 20, 20 year old uh, so realistically I know that this will give me the quality of life that I have seen so many people in my family not have because they were not willing to change their lifestyles. So whatever it takes, however it takes, and however long it takes, I will do what I got to do. And hopefully there will be people maybe in my own family who will take note to what I'm doing, who will see me and maybe I'm an example of what can be done when you make a choice, when you take that first step. So on Sunday, my day of gratitude and I'll be writing down every name that I've encountered here in these vlogs as I say thank you to the universe, thank you to God, thank you to all there is for bringing me to this place at this time with you guys. I love you guys very much. I appreciate you very much. Happy Holidays.